how would you like to be able to convert all of your campaigns into the new workflow functionality without having to recreate every single step or have your team doing mundane tasks like copying pasting every single detail from your existing campaigns over into the new workflows wouldn't that be cool well you're in luck because ghl actually has a built-in feature that helps you do just that and in this video uh, we're going to walk you through how to do this all the way from the beginning to the end make sure you stay to the end and i'll share with you exactly how to access all of my pre-built snapshots funnels campaigns pitch decks and so much more wait a second you don't know what a snapshot is yet make sure you check out some of my other videos to learn more about all of the things you're able to do with this amazing platform okay so get ready and be prepared to pay attention uh, you're going to walk away from this training knowing exactly how to do this and i plan to break it down super simply for you even if this is like your first time opening up go high level or even an automation system like this um, you know you're going to be able to hop in there and get right to it all right check out this quick message before we get started by the way, if you still haven't joined our free Facebook group, make sure you go on over to Facebook and check that out. In there, we're gonna interview six and seven figure agency owners. Uh, we're gonna have exclusive trainings each and every week. And then also you get one-on-one -on -one interaction with myself, JC Height, and the entire Digital Agency Hacker team. Looking forward to seeing you over there. So in this video, we're going to learn how to convert existing campaigns uh, using new Go High Level Workflows functionality. And this is really useful if you were using GHL before the workflow functionality was launched, okay? And uh, you know maybe you've done a lot of work in the past using the previous functionality of campaigns and triggers. Now, why do I want to do that? Why would you want to use workflows, okay? Now there's a lot of benefits here, including tons of ability to have different types of much more advanced automations uh, based on the contact level and how they're flowing through the, their entire customer journey. Also, some of the benefits of using this migration feature can include saving time, in you know, doing the actual migration. Um, you know, this cuts down on hours, uh, potentially depending on how many campaigns you have. Um, and then also, you're going to be reducing the chance for human error. We all know how prevalent that can be when you know, doing these type of tasks and, and, and uh, you know, setting up these type of campaigns, okay? Uh, so that's another huge one. And one more is to cut down on the redundant and mundane, boring tasks on your team. We all know that that's very like demotivating, just at the copy and paste, copy and paste, or data entry or something like that. Um, so we wanna make sure, if we can, to cut down on as much as possible of that and allow your team to have their creative juices flowing. Um, okay, so in this example, I'm going to convert a campaign we created for capturing new leads through Facebook ads. This campaign is called Facebook opt-in ads. First, you're gonna to go to the sub account where the current campaigns are located to convert this campaign into a workflow, all right? Now on the left-hand side of the menu, you're going to want to go to workflows. Click plus create the workflow button, okay? Uh, and on the, that's on the top right. Uh, now choose the import from a campaign option. Then from the drop down menu, let's go ahead and select the campaign you're looking to import. In my case, it's going to be the Facebook opt in campaign. Um, and please note if you have many campaigns, you can use the search bar to find the exact one you're looking for and save yourself a lot of time scrolling and looking around for it. Now, click on the plus create workflow button, then a confirmation pop-up message will appear. Go ahead and click on the close button. Now your workflow is ready. Now next, you just need to reconfigure your workflow trigger or entry point as we call it over here, which in this case is going to be a opt-in form that lives in Facebook right along with our ads. Now make sure you QA all of the workflow output 
you don't know what QA means, quality assurance, uh, just go in and check for errors, okay? Uh, you're gonna wanna do this for any and all of your converted campaigns. Also, you're going to want to review each of the steps that were migrated over to confirm that no errors uh, were done during the automated migration process. All right, super important. You don't want to be sending out, uh, you know, any type of text messages or emails that are riddled with some errors, right? And we all know that it can happen during the automated migration process. You wanna be sure that that doesn't happen to you. Okay, now finally, you'll wanna test, 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 if everything is working properly and functioning as intended. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this just as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Uh, if you got any value out of this or you wanna show some love and support for our team and this channel, go ahead and smash the like button. And if you'd like to, go ahead and leave a comment here on the video letting me know exactly what you would like to see us do next. All right, we'll have our team knock it out for you. Oh yeah, be sure to check out the links in the description below to get access to all of our resources, our community, uh, and to check out some of our awesome programs as well. If you have anything you would want to see us do next, do not hesitate to ask. Uh, also, if you're still diving into your journey with Go High Level, make sure to check out some of my other videos in this series and take a look at the others in the channel as well. That should help you tremendously along your way. All right, well, that's all for today. Again, thank you, and I'll see you on the next video.